The governor does this during the official handover of the party's flag to APCA's candidate in the governorship race, Mr. Osaro Onayo. The Edo State governorship candidate, Osaro Onayo, receiving his guest, the governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano, and other delegates of the All Progressives Ground Alliance, APCA. From here, the party leadership moves to the royal court of the Edaike Nselu Ehenede Eridiawa to pay homage to him. The governor, Obiano, explains to him that their mission is not to criticize the ruling party, but that they are here to tell him about the objectives of the party. We need emphasis in, in four pillars in agriculture, which is going to transform when it comes again, in trade and commerce, industrialization, and of course, uh, the oil and gas actually activities around here. As for the governorship candidate, he assures the traditional institution of his unflinching loyalty to residents of Edo if given the chance to lead. Supposed to earn a lot of money from trade and commerce, but because leadership has been the problem. They have vision, but not action. I'm coming home with vision, with action. The Daike and Selu, in his response, commends Governor Obiano for his good works in Anambra State, but also tells his guests the position of the Benin Kingdom. Your accomplishments in your state, and uh, we think uh, it is uh, commendable. You know, I always want to remind everybody that the, the crown in Benin is not partisan. With a stopover at the residence of former governor of Old Bendel State, General Samuel Ubumudia, the campaign train storms the King Square where hundreds of Abga supporters receive them, flying high the party's flag. Both past and present leadership of the party address the audience, canvassing for votes. Abga is the third largest party in Nigeria. In Nigeria today, the youngest commissioner is from Anambra State. So when Abga wins here, the commissioners will be between the ages of 35 down, so that they will be active and will be able to work. The climax of the event is the handover of the party's flag to the governorship candidate. It's less than five weeks to the elections, and the campaigns are heating up. What's left is for the umpire to do its job of ensuring a level playing ground for all the candidates involved.